Hey there. Is this thing on? Huh? This thing. Is this thing on? Hello, testing. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Got a couple of really... Well, one game we've played before, and then another one that's just very interesting. Uh, we've got... Uh... Yeah. It's a couple of interesting... A uh, couple of interesting games to play today. The first is a game called Sphere Flying Cities. And this stream is sponsored by Assemble Entertainment. So thank you, Assemble. Appreciate the support. Mm. I have another product in front of me that I wish was sponsoring, but no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm. It is delicious, though, you know, this mystery product that I just can't promote because this would be appropriate, you know? Wait, I got my, my, my stream just opened itself. That's cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have a zip. Yeah, the zip command works here, too. Okay, cool. See, now everybody knows. Now everybody knows. There you go. Oh. Ah. Delicioso. Mmm. Mmm. Magnifique. Uh, how we doing today, everybody? Michael's here. Welcome, Corey. Drop Bod. Levi's here. I see Christopher, Dr. Rancio. Rancio. That's great. YouTube telling me that I'm, uh oh, having encoding problems. Oh, no. Not this. Hemp. Show me my temps. Show me my temp. Gotta make sure. Oh, temps are fine. Why? Then why? If my temps are fine, then why? Drop frames. You quit it. Not today. Not today. What you drinking, Charlie? Yeah, there you go, Joseph. There's a zip command for you. That tells you all about it. Ah, uh, totally not sponsored, but I'm just a fan. Curl RPO can sponsor a wink wink. You know, that's not a bad idea. You know, we should take we should take sponsorships from the RPOs. Uh, we won't be talking much about that today. We're going to be talking about Sphere today. It's the Flying Cities. Uh, it's a game basically that takes place in sort of like this post-apocalyptic sort of universe, if you will. Um, catas catastrophe. Catastrophe? Catastrophe? Catastrophe. I'll, I'll put the right emphasis on the proper syllable soon, I'm sure. Uh... Big old catastrophe happened uh, to Earth, and uh, we have this anti-gravity device that's... You can hear the, the tone in my voice, right? It's just sort of like... It's, it's very science fiction, okay? So, anti-gravity device that's pulling us up with, with part of the Earth, and uh, we're up there floating. It's very similar in a vibe to... Or, like, not really so much... The vibe's different, but uh, it's a very similar uh, game... Like gameplay mechanics wise to Frostpunk. So you have like sort of like your, your center where you're safe and then as you get out further and further, you'll see. Uh, now, I have never even hit the start button before, but I've watched a couple of other videos to like demonstrate how to play and stuff. So we're gonna go through this together for about two, two and a half hours. So it's very early game stuff is what you're gonna see today for Sphere. But if you're interested in it, uh, the link is pinned in the live chat. Uh, we'll also have a link down in the description uh, and again this stream is sponsored by assemble so uh you know again thank you for thank you for supporting me assemble and also take that with a full disclosure of what, everything i say from this point on all right so so let's start a few weeks after the initial reports about the asteroid came out oh. it was undisputedly acknowledged in the academic world we got like that actual, it was going to collide with the moon actual story here that was the day our world changed forever our reactions were as dark as science had predicted. Very little was spared from the destruction. No one from the disbelief. The impact of the asteroid shattered the moon into pieces, completely obliterating it. 
thick layer of debris engulfed the planet, blocking out the sun. Fallout, flooding, darkness. Mankind was doomed. The recent discovery of anti-gravity gave us hope. This new technology laid the foundation for the future of mankind. The development of the anti-gravity device was a colossal undertaking. Scientists, mechanics, and engineers from around the globe came together in its creation. Everyone was anxiously awaiting the startup of the device. Then, there was a malfunction. During ignition, a destructive heat wave was released from the core. The surrounding area was almost completely destroyed. The device finally stabilized at a reduced capacity. And the ascension succeeded. I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. <laughs> I guess. Ah, my gosh. Okay, well, there's your story for how it goes, guys. Uh, now you know everything there is to know about the uh, environment, at least. So uh, we'll see how the gameplay works here. Again, I've only seen a couple of videos and sort of showing some brief, very brief overviews on how to play the game. So I'm learning it right along with you, kind of. So let's, let's just see. I'm seeing frames. I'm going to have to reduce quality here, I think, pretty quick. <laughs> I tried to jack it all the way up. I think that was a mistake. Maybe it's just the way the... Maybe it's just the way the video is. Okay. So this is a devastating start. It's a good thing you're here. We need you to take over as commander. I know you're being thrown into the deep end, but there are no other options. Most of us who are in charge are no longer with us. So this is like, just, a, you're, just this is your average backstory. Everything's gone to shit and you're in control now, sir. Good luck. I'm Jacob, by the way, city planner. Good. Uh, looks like uh, colonists are safe, but there's injured. We need to care for them. Okay. Uh, and there, we probably have to get with food and, and water and all that stuff too. I would think that's probably a pretty essential thing. I don't have a clue how we get water from this. We're floating. Like... Doesn't that limit our ability to extract water just a little bit? Uh, satellite network is down. Can't communicate with the Earth, but we've been receiving a distress signal from escape pods. Ah, uh, okay. Basically, nothing works right now, and we're stranded. We should start rebuilding uh, what we've left. Uh, start rebuilding what we have left as soon as possible. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're gonna have. To, we're gonna have to dumb it down. Oh, there's no options in. No, there's got to be up here, right? Oh my gosh, there's no quality options right here. Okay, that's got to be something that gets added quick. Um, hello, my name is Lynn. First officer, medical support, injured as necessary, set up two aid centers. Okay, got you, cool. Well, okay, so I'll say it's, it's, it's not that bad. Once you actually get into the gameplay, it's not that bad. Um... Yeah, it seems like like quality wise, I, I think I need to, I need, I need more frames, but it doesn't look like it's gonna let me adjust quality on the fly. Oh no. Okay, I have to go out. I, I, is it a full quit too? Is it really? Okay, let me, yeah, I gotta get settings here, guys. What the hell? Uh, overall, let's just go high. I thought maybe we could ha handle it, but even a 3090 won't do it. Wow. Even the 30, oh, wait, what's this? Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. What's this? No wonder. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on here. Hang on here. What's, what's this 23 second? What's this 23 hertz crap right here, huh? What was that all about? Maybe that was why. Hold on, can we skip this? Can we sit? Can we skip the cutscene? We the can, right? Hold on, let's just see. Let's just see. <laughs> hey, finally have the possibility to watch you live instead of after. Hi, welcome in. Yeah, good to see you. Not much space in your rock there. I know it's like I said, it's like similar to the way Frostpunk was, right? No, it doesn't seem like that's. I think it actually changed it back to 23. Oh, and I can't skip this either. There's no skipping this. Ah, there's no skipping this. How much does this cost on Steam Char? Click the link. Find out. 
Yeah, no, that didn't help at all. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna dumb it down then. Uh, 3090 apparently can't handle that, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, no. So we're gonna click these off uh, real quick. We'll go down to like just go high. I'd rather have the frames. We'll just do that, and then I don't know if I have to restart or not though. It doesn't say I do, but I would have to. I I believe I would have to th say that. Uh, there's a high likeliness that this will just work now, but we'll see. A few weeks. I like that I can skip the cutscene. I wish I could skip the the fly in, and then quality options being on the pause menu during gameplay would be essential. If I had to, if I had to give any feedback at all, that would be what I'd say. In my head, I kept reading new end zone expansion. Didn't read the after. Ah, yeah. So uh, we, this is a split stream today. Much better frames now, by the way. Much better. Um, this is a split stream today. So um, we're playing about two hours, two and a half hours of Sphere, and then we're gonna switch over to Endzone. I'm, I'm experimenting with a feature on YouTube, so if you're watching this live, hopefully it works, but you will be basically swept away to the next stream automatically once this one ends. You shouldn't have to do anything, um, but because of how YouTube sets up their videos and stuff, I would hope anyway that the other stream is very easy to find anyway. All right, this is a much better, much better frame rates now. Good. So this is our sphere. Sounds intense. We have many homeless colonists. Great. So uh, broken buildings, not enough workforce. We have a manual here in front of us. I don't know if it's actually, I think it's paused. Yeah, I can see the clouds moving and then the clouds stop moving, okay. So um, the anti-gravity thing, I, I think I understand this. Most of the mechanics are probably gonna be very similar to Frostpunk, I would assume. Um, but there's one thing I, I just was hoping to have is somewhat like a world map, start flight sequence. Okay, so there's a flight sequence of that too. So we need to set up two aid centers. So that would probably be on building, I. Okay, aid centers. And it looks to me like we've got some extra buildings that are just sort of in our way almost. Oh, okay, there's like little green arrows that tell you where they go. That's pretty cool. Um, what if I was to go like this though? There's a road tool, right? Connect like this. Actually, why don't we just kinda do that? Yeah. If it's, if it's instant, then yeah, we'll just do it. Um, and then remove, we have a remove tool. So I wanna remove these old buildings, right? And then uh, probably this stuff here is probably in my way too, I would think. Yeah, maybe that, and then all of these. So how do we remove them? It looks like little, yeah, they got the little drone things. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So they're like laser, they're like using destructive lasers to clear the, clear the debris out, that's nice. Um, looks like this building is actually working, so I probably don't want to demolish that one. And then I would assume that the sphere is where we are safe. Inside the dome is where we are safe. Now, it looks like it's taking energy. Energy is necessary for operating the anti-gravity device, AGD, and other buildings, and for flying. More power plants equals more energy. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we have very similar thing to Frostpunk again, where we can increase the radius of the shield or increase its strength. So there might be situations where we want to make our, our area bigger, like upgrading the, you know, the heater, uh, or making it stronger, making it hotter. So there's back and forth. Uh, if you if you've played Frostpunk before, you would kind of understand that mechanic, I would think. So. Uh, there are some probably some differences here, and we'll, we'll definitely see those. But I need to make aid centers that are connected. So that's one. Uh, so the next one would be, I guess, we'll put that one over here. I'd like to not get in the way of that road. I'm going to put it there, and then I'm going to go and connect it there like that. So we'll plan for having the city's roads go out this way. Okay, cool. So we have 302 food. Comes pre, it comes cooked. Nice. <laughs> that's good. Uh, and then we have uh, 1,000 water. Why do I feel like that's not as much as I think it is? Um, and then 
material, mine resource clusters, or remove buildings to get more material. So we just build things with material then? This, do we not have like wood, metal, things like that? Uh, good. Now the injured people will be treated, but the survivors also need shelter. Provide the number of residential units required. Both single residential units, or sorry, build single residential units for colonists. Okay. So we need to build single residential units. That would be housing. Yeah, wouldn't it? Sure would. Uh, and they want me to build like three more, it looks like. So why don't we have like a little housing district kind of, I don't know. Right next to the edge of the sphere. That sounds like a great idea. Hey, there's already some houses here. So we'll, we'll just go like this. We'll say, uh, one, two, uh, three, four. And then we'll make the road here, 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 and here. How's that sound? It's like a little, little neighborhood right there. Keep them all together, you know, in case a meteor comes in, just, just pulverize them all at once instead of only some of them. It's great. The media will love it. You know, if you're going to do non-KSP streams, at least do them on Monday or Wednesday when I can't, when I can't normally watch. Why would I do, what? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, guy comes back after streaming. I think I've covered what? Like, Oh, wow, we have Particle Storm? Particle Storms. Yikes, that doesn't sound good. Guy comes back from streaming. Like, how much did I, how, how much have I streamed? Like, 120 games, I think I've played. 120 different games in the last three years. Yeah. Start streaming one, streams KSP one time, and all of a sudden, all the other streams are referred to as non-KSP streams. They're not even just... They're considered the norm now, I guess. That's nice. <laughs> uh, quality of life feature I can already see making sense is snapping the entry and exit to the road, if adjacent. Snapping the entry and exit to the road. What do you mean? Oh, this is actually, like, there's actually some detail in this. People are walking around. Oh, well, they just, sometimes they disappear, but look at this. Dude, that guy has... No, no, there's facial features here. Hang on. You know how, like, in these games, like, like Surviving Mars, for example, right? How you get this big overview of everything and, like, the people. You, you zoom right in and it's, it's kind of like, okay. I mean, they're there, but they don't really have a whole lot of detail to them. Look at this guy's face. If I can get there, figure out how to get the camera to go in micro movements. Look at this guy's face. Like, that's got legit detail, you know? They put some time into this. Just a little bit, you know? Yeah. Looks like he's got, uh, you know, this is, this, all these jumpsuits. I will say, despite their facial features, they've also got floating happening over here. Hey, it's okay. This That's not the point of the game, okay? The point of the game is hopefully to survive. So, uh... We need to set up a plantation. So that, that would be for food, I would think. Yep. And the plantation is kind of big. I mean, it's got to grow food, I guess. How about over here? Can I put you right here and have you be safe? Hope so. I'm going to put it there. And then uh, we're going to build a road right here once they clear this. So we'll have this road exist. Once it's cleared, and then that will be what we connect to the plantation. I'm trying to be like, I don't want to be min maxi and optimal with spacing, but square grid with circle. I don't know if this is, if this is a problem. Being that little that little corner being out of the dome, I don't know if that's a problem or not. Okay, now I want now it wants me to build a second power plant, which I will totally do as soon as you demolish this road. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have time. Oh, there it goes. Got it. And they're instantly build roads, too. So that's kind of nice. All right. So now I need to build a second power plant. Because we're draining power. The anti-gravity device is hungry. Small power plant. Uh, produces energy. Requires material for operation. Okay. Well, we'll stick that, I think. About... Uh, 
how about we stick that like right here? Oops. Uh, energy, yeah. Stick that like right here. Kind of like away from, away from things, sort of, but, but not. Yeah, like that. Yeah, what's wrong with the way the roads build? I'm just imagining this will have a politics system, just like Frostpunk. I don't know about that, but they are adding, they're adding other, other systems. There's a roadmap um, that they've posted on their Steam page that'll walk you through that. But there's another update coming in the winter of this year, so within the next couple months, that will have like air filtration and, um, you know, you'll have to govern air quality, industry and air quality. Right now, it doesn't seem like that's a thing. Because they said they're going to add it later, so maybe it's not a thing now. But um, it does have that on the roadmap for this year, so air quality will be a thing. Which I mean, the other thing to take a look at is like just look at this, like we're up there, dude. We are up there, and my thirty ninety is is struggling. <laughs> I'm at 4K though, so that makes that's probably why. I, I don't know if it's an optimization issue or if I'm just kind of like, hey man, let's just crank up the crank it up to 12. It's probably my fault. Generally, I always think it's my fault. But this is an indie game, so like, you you, you get like all these different systems and a, a new way and a new approach of doing things, and it all becomes like super interesting to just check out and see how people do things. We have 230 energy now. There's 48 colonists and 29 loyalty. Improve the living conditions with housing and parks and increase food diversity to increase loyalty. Okay. Um, so I was hoping that this menu, when I click this, that I would be able to... Oh. We have an element inventory here. Collect elements and convert existing ones to new ones. We're converting elements? Anybody? Is anybody a chemist? You got any chemists in the... Any chemistry people in the in the chat? What can I make? Huh? Are they ordering these in any sensible order? Or is it just by rarity? You never see that beyond vague pollution. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping that they'll uh they'll add air quality and stuff. Speaking of pollution and air quality and all that stuff, I haven't finished workers and resources yet. And I'm thinking about just streaming that to the end. Um, because I don't have the time. <laughs> it's just I don't think I have the time. Um, you know, I'm going to go and put a small park in here just to improve. Wow, these park, the park really doesn't affect very many people, though, does it? That area of effect is pretty low, i got to say. But we'll do the best we can. We'll put a little park right there and then just connect it to the road. And then it wants me to increase the priority level of an energy production site. So priority goes up. Or down. It wants me to increase it. Okay, seven. So a lot of times, it, it, with uh, the higher the number, the lower the priority. In some games, it's like that. And then, um, and then some games they they flip it and do a higher number as priority. Uh, so like in RimWorld, for example, a one is the highest priority, and not a two or a three as you go down. The higher the number, the lower the priority. But with a game like this, right, you go up to ten. Uh, I'm trying to think of another game that does it like that, um, where you go up to ten. Rimworld like immediately popped in my head as being opposite of this, but I, there's a lot of games that do it the other way. So I just had to figure it out. Uh, we have to build a radar station now. What's the radar station specifically for? I know what radar does, but what does this do? Navigation and survey of other sectors. Right, so the game lets you move around. This is... Um, this is huge. Like, it's enormous. It's a monstrosity of a structure. How do I keep it in bounds? I feel like it's going to be halfway out here. I, I'm, yeah, I think it is. I don't think I have much of a choice. I'm going to have to stick it outside the... It's going to have to be outside the dome. It won't let me build it here. Well, how do I... Hold on. Increase radius. 
watch us not have any power at all now. <laughs> I'm going to bankrupt us by doing that. You watch. Uh, you know, I'd actually like it to be here. Can we clear this? Get rid of this stuff. And this. And then all of these can go. Right? And then, uh, let's see. How's our, our water supply is, is getting drained pretty fast, too? Radar station. I want it right here. There we go. It'll let me build it now. That's nice. Make uranium-235. What could possibly go wrong? How do I do that? You know what? The thing is, even if I wanted to combine these resources, I don't have any of them. See, they're all zeros. But I got NA, which is, you know, NACL is salt. What is NA? Sodium? Sodium, right? Yeah. It actually tells me. Before I let the record show, I said this before it did this. There you go. I knew that before. I figured it out. Potassium. All right. Silicon. Silicate. Yeah. You know, see? I got it. H, hydrogen, obviously. P. I'm embarrassed. Phosphorus. Okay. I was embarrassed. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Got to go for now. Maybe catch the tail end. See you, Matt. See you, man. Uh, we are switching to end zone after this. So, again, the this is a split stream. Both of them, which are sponsored by Assemble Entertainment. And we're going to be... Uh, heading up and seeing the new prosperity update in Endzone after this. Uh, if you are tuned into the live stream, you should be automatically swept away to that stream and where that link is and everything right after this one concludes. I'm trying out that feature on YouTube to get you carried away off to the next thing. Uh, I did it this way as an experiment to see if, it's, if the feature works, but also so that the VODs are separated for completely different games um, instead of having them all in one stream, right? So I'm hoping that that works. Okay, so we have a radar station. At least I thought we do. Oh, it's getting built right now. Okay, it's almost done. Bowsers. I'll go. All right, perform a scan of the surroundings in the navigation interface. So, perform a scan of surroundings in the navigation interface. Oh, there's a tech tree here. Hey, there's a tech tree here. Hang on. So, energy... AG levitation. Right. So complex energy arrays. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Look at this. So energy consumption requires us to have certain minerals or certain... Uh... Yeah, we need a certain collection of elements to do this. So this will make it require 3% less energy if we can find... Uh... I'm going to embarrass myself. I am not a chemistry person. So... One Fe, one nickel, maybe and I, I don't know. Uh, one CO, which is carbon monoxide, right? <laughs> what is that actually? I don't know. Am I right? Cobalt. Come on, cobalt. It's a little O, not a big O. <laughs> uh, so if we find these these resources, right, we can get them in there, and then we can only research it once we find that. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So uh, this one doesn't seem to have any uh, requirements like that, but this one needs two cobalt and six AS, which is, of course, uh, I give up. I'm not even, I don't know. Arsenic, fine, fine. I'm glad it actually tells you, because I, yeah, like, chemistry was not even, I didn't even take a chemistry class. I don't think I've ever even had a chemistry class, all right? My science stuff was not like that. It wasn't, it wasn't chemistry stuff, so. <sighs> we only have 97 power left. Um, kind of thinking maybe we need some more uh, power, maybe another power plant. Or, here's a thought, I could do what the instructions say and scan using the navigation interface which I'm not entirely sure where that is. Um, shield dome, workforce, cancel, repair. 
I, I'm actually not sure where the navigation interface is. Do I have to click this? Radar station. Oh, is, is it this? Okay, it's this down here, sector. Uh, all right, so we're looking at... This is where our colony is. And so we can choose... Oh, we're like, okay, I see. So we're over Vegas. No wonder we're having so many problems. And uh, I doubt we're going to find water in Vegas. Hey, we can go here. Special feature detected. This sector hasn't been scanned yet. So we have to scan a certain sector. We probably should do them adjacent to ours just to make sure that we're not... Um, select the colony or scout drone. Uh, scout drone. Yeah, select uh, deploy drone. I want to deploy the drone to uh, here. This one. There you go. I have to, so select the destination and tell it what to do. And then, so the drone goes over and it checks things out for us to see whether or not it's going to be dangerous or anything like that. Uh, and then if I do the colony one and tell it to go, then our whole base just moves, just flies. So resources have been detected, but it doesn't tell us exactly what those resources are. But you know what? Good enough for me. Oh, I can scan my entire surroundings by just doing this. Hey, that's better. You, drone, go here. Off you go. The colony will, will scan its surroundings. <laughs> All by itself. Okay. That's much that's much more efficient. Initiate a flight sequence in the navigation interface. Okay, so this one says there's toxic clouds. We don't want to go there. Uh, I wouldn't think we want to go there, but uh, we have resources here, so why don't we go ahead and go here? Start the flight. You have some... Seems dangerous. We also have some uh, toxic clouds here too. Human activity detected though. Could be some survivors over that way. Are we actually moving? We are totally moving, guys. How do we know how to do this? That's what I want to know, right? The world comes to an end and all the brilliant scientists in the world just, they all of a sudden are able to just come right together and, you know, make an anti-gravity device just like that man they do it just like that uh let's see how about uh let's see housing food community kitchen maybe we could yeah yeah because all we have is raw food here so we should probably get like people to work in a kitchen so that we can uh yeah let's cook the food this is better this looks like it actually has a cool fit to it i'm gonna put it here and then put the, the road right there it looks like it'll kind of fit together with these two things. And then if we really want to make sure we keep our food up. Probably another. Okay, so the buildings consume energy too. And material. But it doesn't consume water. So I think I'm going to put another one of these. Just because I really don't want to run out of food. Okay. But then I think water is going to be a big concern. I have no idea how to get water in flight for another minute and 15 seconds. How did the cities get to that height in the first place? The anti-gravity device. You weren't here at the beginning. How, how are you? <laughs> the anti-gravity device, of course. It, it, it kind of exploded with a big heat wave and it messed up the earth around it. But, you know, once it stabilized, it lifted everything up and, you know, the ground lifted up and now it's very foggy. Ooh, boy. It's intense. 72. You know, I think we need another power plant. I don't like how our, I don't like how our energy is fallen. I don't like how our energy is fallen. I know the game didn't tell me to do it, so I might be wasting it, but uh, I'm going to do it. First thing I'm going to do, though, is clear this road. And then... Uh, once that's done, we're going to start clearing that and that. But I'm going to put in another power... Nope, not an air center. Although an, an aid center. Uh, I want energy. A little power plant right here. 
I know the game will probably tell me I'm going to run out of materials, but, you know. We need that energy, man. We arrived at our target sector. Okay, so build. Whoa. Whoa, stop. <laughs> uh, build a mining hub and start mining the natural resources uh, detected in the sector. Natural resources need to be mined for task completion. Completion. So mining resources. Build a mining drone hub. Well, that would probably be resources and construction. Yep. How big are you? It's not bad. Um, so I left this this nice little space here for you. I built this. I built my roads with expansion in mind, so we're good to go there. See, I was thinking ahead. So the drones will go out and mine for resources and bring them back. I guess that's how that works. Man, these are some smart drones. What what year? Did anyone catch the year it was when the the catastrophe happened? Did anybody uh, catch that information? Because I didn't. Maybe it's really far in the future and, you know, autonomous driving has been a thing. It's so normal that it's weird to drive yourself now, you know, that kind of thing. Part of me says it's not a good idea to just queue up all the con deconstruction. Um, but the other part of me says, why not? Because it gets you resources. It gets you the materials. We are... We are very desperate for power. And I would like to see if I can see the trend. Being able to see a trend would be really helpful. Like, how is our energy, you know, working? We have 72 energy remaining. Okay, so it's, it's like right here. So production is 350. Building consumption, 130. And AGD consumption is 147. So we're at 72. I would think that we would be, you know, positive the whole time. And do we have a, do we have a battery by any chance to like store access power in case of emergencies or whatever? Maybe it's just an automatic thing. Like this is a, th this is 10,000. I don't know. Personal question, do you watch anime or other forms of anime and entertainment? I don't regularly watch anime, no. Uh, it's not a regular thing. I've seen some, but I have very little anime experience compared to anyone who would answer yes to that question. <laughs> so I, 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 I watch, I don't watch enough to say yes to that question, basically. My power hungry colony. See, the thing is, it still says 32 power now. But this suggests that we're overproducing, doesn't it? Unless I'm not reading this correctly, this is suggesting that we're overproducing, right? Energy production is higher than the consumption. But it doesn't appear that way because we are about to lose power any second here. Water, resource mining, on. Yes, go get water quickly. And materials. Go get that too. As if he wasn't taking up enough power already. Yeah, yeah, no, I should be, this This math checks out, right? We are producing more than we're consuming. That's, that's what it looks like to me. But of course, I don't have any experience in this game, so this is the first time I've ever played it. So if I fail, well, that's how we know. <laughs> now you'll know. We have three ill. We have two aid centers. They should go get, go get, uh, go get help. Okay. We're gathering tons of materials. So, is there a way to see if my materials are growing or not? Yeah, I want more graphs. That's like charts and graphs and line graphs over time. And hell, I'll even take pie charts. I know, I know a few of you in the chat understand how amazing pie charts are. I know, I know. But I would even take a pie chart uh, to like fully understand my flow, you know? It's also a little hard to see with all the haze. 
isn't it? I'm, I'm really... I really question this power. Like, it's 32. It used to be 70-something. Are we gonna... Are we gonna lose it? I don't know. We have lots of materials now. I think maybe the drones should focus... Wait, are they done getting water? Oh, no. Is that all the water there is? I think they've mined all the water. Mined the water? Extracted the water? How, how exactly are they getting the water? I don't know. Uh, the raw food is becoming cooked food. I would, I would hope so. We're making cooked vegetable recipes. It doesn't appear as though we have... Ah, okay. We can... So when we shuffle it, I guess we just do... Yeah, we just do things. But we're using water for cooking. That makes sense. I prefer cake charts. <laughs> Hi, William. How are you? For forgot this thing started at 11. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm shifting my stream schedule so that I can be done by 4 every day. Um, so that I can properly go get my kid at the bus stop. And then also, like, have, you know, at least one or two hours to play around with him before mom gets home and ruins all the fun. So, I'm trying to shift my, my stream schedule to where I am done by 4. Which doesn't really... That doesn't really mesh with the typical Twitch audience we've had in the past. But, I mean, it's just the changing of the times, man. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to tell them, you know? It should help a little bit for those who are... Well, I mean, in general, I think it would help for people who are further away. You know, it doesn't start at, like, 12 a.m. for you anymore, like... If I, if, I, if I start at 11 my time, that's like 11 p.m. chicken time. <laughs> people in the... Uh, people in YouTube are like, I don't understand. What, what is chicken time? Sorry. It's a Twitch thing. You wouldn't understand. Natural resources need to be fully mined for task completion. It's only 800 left. Okay, so we have to wait until... Now, is this building getting damaged by this because it's sticking out? Because this is a particle storm and it's halfway sticking out. So, is there any way to tell if the building is getting damaged at all? Maybe it's this. 100. I would think that that's the case. So, if it's anything sticking outside the dome, it would get damaged during the storm. What is this? What are you complaining about? Do you not have a road to you? No, you do. What are you complaining about then? Oh, you don't have any workers. Oh, we need people. We need to go to a sector that has people, you guys. But we're not fully mining. We're not mined out yet. We have to wait for that to be mined out. We have 300 left. And then we can go. Now, you can speed up time. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's probably a really bad idea in a survival game. Uh, great. We're now able to obtain mineral uh, material by mining raw resources. We should search for raw resources in as many sectors as possible. And we really need fully grown... Con sorry. We really need to fully gain control of the anti-gravity device. There is still too much that we don't understand yet. And still too much that we are not able to do. But first, we need the manpower to get going. When we fly to other sectors, we will inevitably encounter survivors and escape pods. And those random farmers that have been displaced and are desperate will help us in engineering new advancements to our anti-gravity device. So we need to reach a total population of 300 for our colony. Wow! Okay, uh, well, we could scan surroundings. Does that cost me power? Like, I, I wish I knew that before I hit the button, but it doesn't tell me, so I'm hoping it doesn't cost me power, but it probably does. No? Okay. So, it looks to me like pretty much meteor shower. Nice. No, thanks. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Great meteor showers everywhere. There's resources here. I think we go here. Set destination. Onwards! <laughs> Charlie, so you could say that you need resources and workers. Yeah. 
you you could say that we could use a few resources and some workers. Uh, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen, your basic components of corpses. Wow. That really just, that really humanizes the situation. Since gravity is a field, as far as I can t we can tell, it's from the result of physical particles. It should be possible to manipulate the shape and strength of the field however you want. Is it though? Have you seen Veritasium? I think he debunked, I think he debunked your preconsumptions about gravity. You should go watch that channel. Ask, ask Derek about gravity. <laughs> Did you try Space Engineers? I have never tried Space Engineers. I own it, I have it. I've never booted it up. I don't think I've even installed it before. It's uh, it's not that I don't like the game. I, I guess I just never really got around to, to playing it. It's just one of those things, you know? You got those games in your Steam library too, I'm sure. People have games in their Steam library that they've never played before. You, they're just there, you got them on sale, and you're like, hey, whatever, maybe I'll get to that. You know? Oh, what's this? It's normally $30, but today it's eight. Eh, maybe I'll play it later. That kind of thing. That's space engineers for me. I just never quite, I just never quite got it. Wouldn't it be dehumanizing though? That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. You're, if you're, if you're, if you're breaking down what the, like the materials you can get, the the elements that you would get from corpses. You know, you're like, hey, you can get these these elements from corpses. I'm like, wow, you really, really touched on the heart and soul of the matter, didn't you? You have so many games like that. What is your what is your biggest regret? Let's 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 go around the room. All right, a game that you have in your Steam library, like one that stands out to you, a game that you have in your Steam library that you've never played. You just haven't gotten to it yet. You you were excited about it. Maybe you thought this was a good idea, and then you just never quite got to it. What what's that game for you? Mine is Transport Transport Fever 2. That's mine. It's the game that I, I got. I had all the intentions in the world of playing it. I just, just never happened. Just never happened. Not that it won't happen ever, but it just never happened yet. Uh, uh hi. There's a giant rock floating. Okay, hold on. So our thing is, is by the anti-gravity device, right? How are you floating? You seem kind of far away to be affected by our gravity device. Especially since you were kind of already there when we got here. You know? How are you floating? I think it'd be interesting if chunks would continue to fall off over time. So you'd have to be expand, like you'd want to expand to get the resources, but you're also under a time constraint because the ground around you is breaking up and getting smaller. I think that would be interesting. Let's go get the materials. Um, we still don't have water here, which is going to be a problem. And we're, yeah, because we're really not able to, we're not able to make any food. We do appear, anyway, to be good on power. Uh, we do appear to be producing more power than we're consuming, which is great. Uh, we also have lots of material, this, this vague material resource and that's what the power plants use um so we should theoretically be okay here uh with 32 power um i'm trying to see how much power each individual small house uses and uh i may have to go into this menu to see that it doesn't say it consumes any energy at all okay and it, currently we have 48 people and 48 people housed. I don't know if we have any homeless, but I've got myself a little, you know, neighborhood kind of thing going on here. So you just uh, continue that since they don't take power. And uh, it does look like I did this kind of incorrectly by blocking this road. I wonder if I can move existing structures. No, it doesn't appear so. And these also are slightly damaged as well. 
What else should I build? We need more people to work these different things too. Material storage. Ooh, here we go. Water storage. Oh, we should we should totally do this. We should have more water storage. I want uh, water storage. At least that, but probably more. We, we, when we do find water, I want to be able to make sure we can store it all. So at least one of those. And then, what's this? Hydro tree. Collects water out of the air. Increased output when flying through rain clouds. Well, this seems appropriate. I say we, we put one of these in. Does it, does it have to be outside the dome? You know what? Screw it. We're going to build it. It probably uses too much power. I didn't even check that. Uh, it uses 25. <laughs> we're getting close, aren't we? Uh, we are getting we're getting mighty close. I think another power plant is in order. Boom. Let's just spend our materials. And then uh, nope, 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 nope. Cancel, cancel. How do, how do I cancel? Uh, remove. Hi. Is a misclick. Although you can totally get that stuff. Uh, I wanted to get another one of those towers. Mining drone. No, storage. Yeah, here. Water storage right here. All right. Are you getting us stuff? Water. Water generation. Yes, that's what I want. Water generation. All right. So we need workers for this. Probably means we should, uh, we should get out of here. You know? We also have 500 raw food. Doesn't seem to be going up. Which suggests that we don't have enough storage for it. Is that a storage problem? I do wish there was a way to tell that. It's probably here, right? This this end line is all you can store. So this is our water storage capacity and this is our food. Our food capacity must be 500. But we need to pick up the pace on cooking that food. I would assume that you cook food I would assume it's it's very similar to like the way Endzone works or really any survival game we've ever played where if you cook the food it lasts a lot longer like surviving the aftermath for example right you you your colonists will have like one raw food whenever they do an eat cycle but if you cook it then you get like two cooked food out of that so they end up eating like half of your food on a on an eat cycle that kind of thing so we probably want to have a little bit more food storage to, to increase that. Uh, food storage is right here. And we could put that just inside on this side. I could put it right next to the kitchen. That would, you know, lore-wise, that would make sense, right? To put it right here. Put it right there. So it'll increase our raw food. Um, and then our people do appear to eat raw food, so we'll at least be able to keep that going. But we are really, really stressed out on water at the moment. So let's see if we can't move to a new sector. I'm really hoping I find water in these two areas. We're going here if not, because this, there's actually resources here. Uh, dangers, dangers. Will Robinson, danger. Human activity. Okay, this is where we're going. There's resources plus human activity. How do you get more people? We're going to find out. I'm hoping human activity in a sector leads us to see escape pods and stuff. But we are, like, totally out of water now. So I would also imagine that that's a great way to lose people. <laughs> I'm not an expert. I'm not really an expert on how to get more people. But I will tell you, there's probably a pretty solid way to lose people. And running out of water seems to be, I think, a pretty effective strategy to lose people. That's why I'm building additional water storage. Because I have so much. <laughs> it made no sense to build these. I just had excess materials, so I figured I might as well. Our material storage is getting up to full, so I figured I might as well spend it on infrastructure while we can, you know? Surprisingly, 
even though I built the power plants, we're not our power isn't going up. And I would imagine that that's probably because there's no workers. So going to places where there are people seems to be a pretty productive way. I'm going to raise the priority on this building so we get workers here. There we go. Look. Right away. Boom. See that? You just got to raise the priority in these buildings to make sure that they work there. That's all it is. See, that's all it is. See? I knew we could solve this on our own without any catastrophic events happening. Now we're at seven power. Time to raise the priority on the new power plant. Oh, look at our power now. Uh-huh. Don't we feel fabulous now? Now, I'm noticing some of these storms, they have numbers next to them. One, two, three. I would assume that that's like a strength indicator. And going on that note, I would also assume that if a storm is level two and our shield is level one, it's reasonable to assume that that shield is not strong enough to stop that storm. Just, just spitballing here. I don't know that, but just kind of, you know, if you're a numbers guy, you can probably appreciate the simplicity of that assessment. Or I would, I would say even if you're not a numbers guy, you could probably still appreciate it. Now there's nobody working at your farm. You know, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's fine. We got plenty of food. It's, it's, it's fine. This is, this is fine. See, now we have people at least working at the kitchen. So now that we can have a steady supply of water, we can then have a steady supply of cooked food, which can then get us even more food because they'll, I would assume anyway, is like, uh, what's the conversion rate here? Needed units. Three water plus three vegetables equals three cooked vegetables? Why does that not seem worth it on paper? Rescue mission. We've received a signal from one of the escape pods. There are five survivors on board in need of help. Do you want to rescue them? Rescue them all. Bring them in. We have housing for you all. Inhabitants. Um, we should have 53 housed and 53 people. There's no... Yeah, we have room for more even too. That's nice. Uh, do we have resources here that we could mine by chance? No resources. Okay. Let's see... Uh, need to operate. Need an operating radar station. Oh, hey, look, they're not working here. This is a level six now. There, it's operating. Let's um, let's scan our surroundings, and then I'm gonna send out a scout drone to um. I don't know. Let's go up into Canada. That's something that we always tell ourselves is a good idea. In the United States, we, we usually say that's a good idea. <laughs> Let's go scout that. And then uh, there's no there's no resources here, but there are some here. So I think we'll, I think we'll hightail it over here. What? No, oh, uh, set destination here. Let's go. Not gonna lie, this game reminds me of Frostpunk. Yeah, it's got very similar things. The, uh, the flight mechanic thing is very different though. Like, being able to fly the places is pretty different. And then also the tech tree, right? I, we haven't even looked at this, but I feel like I should probably hit this button. Probably. I don't know. It's just, a, just an idea. Probably should hit this button. Um, it says, uh, intensified research of energy arrays improves the anti-gravity core stability. Side effect, every power plant's output is increased by 3%, which seems like a good idea. I'm not entirely sure how to put work into it, though. It still has a zero. And then this one here requires specific resources, which I would assume we're gathering them with mining and everything, because we have the actual numbers now. You can see the numbers are up there. Um, we, you know, we've got 12, uh, 4, 4, there's one with 8. Uh, so, we're, like, we're getting stuff, but we're not getting the right stuff for that specific research. But that's an interesting variance, you know? You might have, uh, I don't know about giving the player agency over that, like... Finding a way to... Oh, look at this. There's like a parting in the clouds. How high are we? Like, how high up are we really? So, if there's a solar phenomenon, like some big thing in space going on, you wouldn't want to be very high. 
You know? It looks like we're high enough just... Like, just high enough to where, like, the haze of the blue sky is going away. So we're basically barely in the atmosphere. I don't know. It seems excessive. I don't know if we should be this high up. Certainly we wouldn't be able to survive outside, not just because of the storms, but just flat out there's no oxygen. There's not enough breathable air. You know? Hey, check this out. Now we got a whole bunch of water, huh? This thing, I feel like, is a little bit OP. But at the same time, I mean, what are you supposed to do finding water in an environment like this? You know? How exactly was I supposed to do that in a floating city? You're at least aircraft level. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, this... I mean, the, the sky is, is almost black. It's got this haze. Right? So, like, it's almost dark. And then, I would think with the sun being up right there, like that, well, I mean, I don't know. It's not that bright. That could be a moonlight. It's, like, it seems brighter than a moon should be. No, it can't be the moon. The moon exploded. <laughs> there is no moon. That's the sun. <laughs> there is no moon. The moon got destroyed. That was the whole point of the, the starting of the story. It was that the, the moon got destroyed. Yeah. All right, we got a good supply of water now. I'm going to take down the, the priority here to a five, which ultimately means we're not going to have any more, but this should give people... That should bring more people into, like, farms and stuff. So if I bump that to a six, for example, we should be able to get pretty good steady supply, use the water we already have. I'm kind of hoping that will bring people into the power plant and stuff too here in a hurry. And then we're about to hit our cap on material storage as well. There are resources available for mining. So are the resources available? Is that this? They're not actually, because that, that was my other question was like these, these, the drones, right? That are the drones that are mining. Are they going... You know, like a hundred kilometers down to go get mining stuff. But it looks like they are actually mining the the floating stuff. There's 1,500 water here. Now who's the smart guy with increased water storage, huh? Now who's the one, huh? Big brain moves right there. Mm-hmm. 1,500 water to mine. Look at the look at the big fancy pants with this double double water storage that everyone thought was a waste of time. <laughs> Great success. I have water. This is nice. We could expand the shield radius here too, maybe. Um I'm I'm thinking like with loyalty though. Doesn't matter, right? A lot of times in these indie games, they'll have systems that are in place and working, but they, they don't really matter. Like, surviving the aftermath in the early days, how there was happiness, but happiness didn't matter at all. It just flat out never changed. I'm wondering if loyalty is the same way here. Like, it has a number 37, but I'm wondering if it actually does anything. It just It's just what normally happens, but I don't know. Small power plant. I do wish there was a battery. Like, I could store access power, right? Because it looks to me like all we have is a small power plant. I'm assuming this is a large... I don't know. And then this, I, I don't know. It, it looks... Maybe an underground one kind of thing. It's a little bit weird. Um, so we need research in order to unlock those, it looks like. Look at us with our 1,500 water. Come on. That's awesome. Dude, I'm getting another one. I don't even care. I'm getting another one. Y'all can make fun of me later. When you're drinking up all your delicious water. Can I just... Hold on. Can I just attach this direct? Eh, probably not. That arrow is pretty specific. We're going to put this right here. With our 1,500 water. You're welcome, people of my colony. You are welcome. 
Um, we already scanned this and there wasn't anything there. There's resources here. So I think we can head over here. That's going to take us a long time to get there, but we can, you know, off we go. Maybe if you lose loyalty, they start disobeying or something. Well, they're certainly not leaving. <laughs> like, they're going to abandon you. Okay, you have fun with that. Bye. <laughs> off you go. Shoo, shoo. Good luck, good luck elsewhere. These people right here, they know exactly what it's like to be a Comcast customer. That's what this is. This is a Comcast customer simulator. You know exactly what it's like. You hate it, but you can't go anywhere else, and you, we know it. <laughs> oh, nuts. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. They charged me a hundred bucks for that that visit. I bitched at them, but it doesn't it doesn't sound like they're gonna change their mind. They charged me a hundred bucks for that visit that I had before, just to tell me that there's nothing wrong. They specifically told me that it was going to be a free appointment. But when the technician came over to the house to like investigate things or whatever, he asked if he could enter to check something inside. And by entering my house, I get a $100 bill. Like, they never told me that that was the case. But if they come in, then they charge you. And the technician was like, "Can I? we need to come in and check something really quick. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, I want you to fix my problem, so okay. No disclosure whatsoever that there was going to be a charge. Doesn't seem to matter. Doesn't seem to matter at all. You know what else doesn't seem to matter? Priority seven on my farms here. That also doesn't seem to matter. We're gonna hold off on the cooked food here for a second, I think, because there's not enough raw. You know, the problem with this priority system, which is not really, I wouldn't say it's a priority, it's a problem with the priority system itself, but rather the problem with its usability is that you generally don't remember to put down the priority on a building so you end up being like, I need this to be a priority. So you just see the existing number and you're like, go up one. And then eventually everything just ends up being a 10. And then you start having to think in a different mindset. Like I want people out of this building. So I'm going to put the priority down. A scale of one to 10, I think for a game this size, I think a scale of one to 10 is a bit much, but it does at least, if, if nothing else, it does give you fine tuned control. So. I don't really think there's a, a negative to having good control. Just uh, something you have to think about, I guess. We should probably fix these places. Do we have any repair bots? Construction drone hub. Includes one drone for construction and repairs. Okay, one drone? So you're saying this giant hub is for one single drone? Wowzers. I don't know, man. I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm gonna go with no on that. For now, I'm gonna go with no. Yeah. They never change their mind, and they know they can't. They can get away with it because the local government won't do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I I can't do anything about it. They yeah. They charged me. It's a hundred dollars on my bill this month. A hundred bucks for that visit. Because they came inside my house for five minutes and then told me that nothing was wrong. Which, I mean, okay, so to their credit, if there is, if there is anything you can do to, to their credit for this, technically there is no problems lately with streaming here. So like, could have been a one-time thing or a little hiccup period or something. But, like, the $100 charge is unjustified because I was told that it wasn't going to cost me anything, and that's why I ordered the appointment. If I knew it was going to charge me, I wouldn't have ordered the appointment um, because it's not worth it. So, I don't know. We live and learn. I mean, I've, I'm going to contest it over and over again until they put me to collections, probably. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need my credit score. I don't think I have anything I really care about for my credit score anymore. Once you have, like, once you've gotten to the point in your adult life where 
you've got your house that you're going to live in for the rest of your life, you know? Like, at the point where you finally, like, I bought my house, all right? I'm going to have 20 years paying it off, but I bought my house already. At that point, you kind of stop caring about... Kind of, You kind of stop caring about your credit score, <laughs> you know? Like, unless you're going to buy another house, it really doesn't matter. I got plenty of credit cards that have zero balances because I don't use them. So I don't need approvals. Uh, I mean, cars... Like, okay, I guess if I'm going to get a car later, maybe, but... Take me to collections, Comcast. I'm going to make you earn it. <laughs> I'm going to make you earn this. This nonsense. I will make sure, above all else... You know, do I even have a technology center? Maybe this is the reason why I don't have any research going. I think it probably is. I think this is the, this is the reason. We should put this uh, over near. We could put it near the power plant. Oh, hi. I guess we arrived. Please be useful things. I was hoping for. Yeah. There's 4,200 water here. We could just chill here for a while. It's fine. You know, we could just. We just chill here for a while. There's there's no reason to go anywhere else. I think we're good. Although I don't know how I'm gonna get my population up if I don't move. Forty two hundred water though, that's insane. That's that's pretty good. Let's bring down the tracking station here in priority, and we'll see if we can get these people Yeah, moving somewhere else. I want you in here, actually. Uh bring this down to six. Bring this down to seven. Now we have seven bonus power. Yikes. But we have people in our getting our food now. This is good. So we have a good storage of water. We're an increasing amount of food. We're using materials, but we were almost capped out on storage for it anyway. And we're being very efficient with energy because we don't have a, a super big surplus. Search for survivors in other sectors or increase loyalty to increase population. Oh, increasing loyalty increases population. Well, there you go. Now we know. I mean, I probably would have knew that before if I had just, you know, read the manual. But now we know. If I didn't know before, I do now. There doesn't seem to be any arrows on this, I'm noticing. So I'm thinking that this does not need a road connection. We're going to test that theory now. And I'm also thinking maybe that means that we can probably delete this. I think I'm going to delete this park right here. And put a house there instead. If it doesn't need a road connection, then it doesn't need to be on a road. So. Big brain moves. At least I think that's that's a big brain move. I can put one... Um, Right here too. Yep, and then we'll take our housing and we'll go uh, like this, like this, like this, and then this side will be like this, and then this road can go like. That. I know I just put a park on a road again, but I'm putting the the people are gonna live here, okay? Like that a little squiggly line like this and then the housing will go like that and like that all right there's our little neighborhood which is i mean it's it's they're kind of close to the power plant i don't know i'm not sure that matters yet but when the like the new uh, expansion and stuff comes out in the winter that'll probably matter air air quality and stuff uh, I, I think for now it kind of doesn't but we'll see so I've, I've added parks to improve the living conditions. I've attempted to anyway. We'll see if that has any impact at all on their loyalty. It doesn't appear as though it, it does. It's still 33 anyway. We have quite a bit of food now though. I, I like this. We have a little bit less water so we can ta have one of these drones go ahead and mine for some water. And then when we fill up, we'll just turn it off, right? It's pretty easy. Howdy, Fallen Avatar, welcome. Deepun, good to see you, how are you? 
What's up there's someone who said in chat too, what Comcast aka Sky here in the UK thankfully cannot do that as it's against the law for them to charge you without disclosing any charges first. Yeah, so I mean, that's probably a thing in the United States, but they can just fire back by saying it's in the print of the agreement that I signed by being a customer or whatever. Like they can make something up and it'll work. At the end of the day, um, I can just keep denying to pay them for that. And then they can just keep tacking on late fees that I can't reverse because I had an outstanding balance. And eventually it will just end up costing me a lot more than $100 to fight it. So I might as well just pay it. And they, they know it. That's what they, they know that that's the case. So they're gonna win because there's really no point in fighting it. Um, best I can do is just not pay my bill until they remove it. And then they send me to collections and shut down my service. And then I can't make fine content for you fine people. So it's not, it's not worth fighting it. Um, that's the problem. That's the core problem. And, um, and they know it. So there's no way to win. The only way to win would be to switch providers. And since there isn't a way to do that, and they know that too, there isn't a way to switch providers, so they won't. There's people working here when there's nothing to mine, so this is going down to priority two. All you workers, go somewhere else. There you go. All you workers, go work somewhere else. Get in there, work in there, yeah? Work in here. Come on. Go seven. Seven. So, like, apparently seven is the new five. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you just, you, you bring up the priority in all these buildings so high that eventually you can't override them. You have to consider bringing it down. I think I was pretty efficient with my power before, though. I don't think I need this to be on. I think if I bring these down to six. Oh, no, no. All right, back to seven. Back to seven. No. Don't be in the deficit. Go to eight. Thank you. Back to seven. What? Don't give me this back talk. Don't give me this negative 17 nonsense. Nonsense, I say. I like this, but we have to increase our population. It doesn't seem to have done much adding those parks. Improve the living conditions and increase food diversity. Right, so is there a way to change what we're growing? Vegetable growing. Ooh, I can't change it. But I'd like to. I would. Fish recipe, meat recipe. We, at the very least, we can just cook food. Right? I mean, that would provide diversity. And then what's our current storage for water? 1750. So we're getting really close to that. And there's a lot of water on this tile. I'd like to I'd like to sit here and develop a little bit more while we can because there's a bunch of stuff here. So why don't we go and add uh Did I ever put in that technology center? <laughs> what a doofus. What the hell? I did I never did. I said I was going to and I never did. Put that down right here. Technologies. We want to research things. Oh my gosh. At least grow something. Go eight. All right. See, now we have seven. Oh, technology center is going to take power, one of us. It. It's totally going to take power. Energy consumption is 10. Yeah, so it's going to start draining us, and then we'll have a three power. As soon as I put people in there, we'll have a three power. Uh, so. We're going to need to raise our power plants all the way up again, right? It's the only way to do it. Go eight here. And then let's go. Let's go eight here, or at least seven. Eight. We'll go eight here. That's 185. And then we'll go eight here as well. And now everything's on eight to guarantee people will work there. Just scaling it up. I think we bring everything down. I'm going to go five here, just so I don't, like, get this out of control, right? We're going to go five here. Five. And then this can be uh, six. And this can be a six. And then this will be a six. Okay. 
you're going to be a five. And then you guys are all going to be sevens. Make sure that we keep you on. So you're fives. And then all I got to do now is bring other things down until people are working in the fives. Pretty much. So let's bring that down to a five. Doesn't look like anybody's going to work in the fives. Go six. Six enough to get you to work here. There, I, I, I don't like the priority system for workers. Um, I'm just going to say it. I, don't, I think it's a little bit tedious. Chicken man. Chicken man. More buttons to press. Yeah, sharing your... Sharing your... Uh, your membership is it's nested in the super chat button if you haven't seen that before and you're a member and you want to like renew it like that it's gonna stay renewed but if you want to share that renewal it's nested in the super chat button it's uh it's kind of a bad place for it but that's what youtube's decided to do you know so i'm gonna make this a seven so hopefully they'll all work here now by doing that are we gonna get any research yes we finally have Stuff working for research, thankfully. Okay, so we could sit here and research for a little bit because we have water local to, to mine, right? There's there's water there. Um, that's nice. We have more than enough materials for now, but I think we need to start, I think, clearing away some of this debris. We can get some more materials that way. And I have more than enough housing, I think. Is there any way to tell that? Um, colonists, hungry, no, ill, one, unemployed, one, get to work, okay? Uh, 52 working, 53 housed. There's no indication here of what my current housing, there's no indication of what my current housing capacity is. So I might have to just sort of, if I do this, now I can go even further out, right? But that's that's kind of a waste of energy, isn't it? I don't think I need to do that just yet. Um, I can probably like expand here, and then we'll and then we can bring it out, right? So if I was to put another small park, I mean these parks, I don't think they're really that effective. They don't appear to be very effective anyway. It's certainly not there. Yeah, I don't know. They don't seem that 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 to be that effective. Let's go get a little bit more water. We'll turn this on. This thing consumes 65 power to drive the drones. But we can go over and get a little bit more water from there. What's this game about? Think of it like post-apocalyptic sci-fi frostpunk. Okay, that's, that pretty much describes frostpunk. Um, think of it like... Uh, I mean, that's the only thing I can compare it to because it's very similar to that and how it, how it works. The the big thing in the middle keeping you alive and and all that. But uh, th this game definitely has variances that, that differentiate it from that game, though. It's a good way to compare it, but um, it definitely has differences. You still have the things around your base that you can harvest for resources to start out with, but eventually those go away and you'll be left with what you have. The part where this really gets to change is the part where you can actually fly around and move to different sectors to get your stuff. But eventually, that you're going to run out of stuff there, too. So I'm not entirely sure about the, like, the longevity of the game. I also wish I could make these stay. Like, for, for instance, the building health. If I wanted to, I could click this and have building health remain on top of the buildings. I think that would be a really cool thing. Let's um let's mark these for repair. We can also mark these for repair too. Just so we can keep our maintenance up for a little bit and then we can think about going once we have all the materials and stuff stored. 
turn off the mining, bring this back down to four. And then technology center is fully staffed. We should have, yeah, tech trees down. Okay, so now we're into the point, now we're to the point where we need to start having elements. This differentiates it from Frostpunk 2 for sure. We need to start having elements to do research. And I'm not, I don't really know how to find specific elements other than just roaming around. So that might just be, that might just be how you have to do it. You just roam around and try to look for them. You can also create new elements, I guess. So maybe, uh, maybe there's a way to do that. Does anyone know what happens if I mix these two together? Wait. Wait a minute. How does this... What are we converting? Elements can be found in mineral clusters and are extracted during the mining process. They are automatically stored in the element inventory. They are common, rare, very rare, extremely rare, and ultra rare elements in the atmospheric layer. Elements are necessary for researching special technologies. Elements can be converted in the element conversion UI. Converted from what? Where do we convert them from? So we click this to create an element. Is it gonna tell me? Like for example, like for my next technology that I need, I need, uh, let's say, clean energy, unlock solar power stations. I'm a fan of solar, yeah. yeah. Um, so we need one AG and we need one SI. AG is gold, right? Isn't that gold? AG. I feel like that's gold. Convert from one element to another. Right, I, I was hoping it would tell me what that conversion is. So like if I want AG, it's saying, okay, oh, silver, okay, not gold. I knew it was one of those things. Anyway, uh, so this says element to receive, but I don't see the elements to convert. If I want, let's say I want like nine carbon. 10 carbon, how would I go about even converting those? Because it, it doesn't give me the option to add them to this window, so I'm gonna assume that's just not something I can do yet. It may, it may just be one of those things where it's not available to me, you know? Wait, what's gold then, AU? Yeah, AU, I guess, yeah. I am saying one of those things, okay? I was silver and gold, right? They're basically the same thing. Basically. It's like you can convert any element to any other. The sides have ratios. I mean, that might, might be a thing. That might be a thing. So we have dangers here, danger, 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 danger. But there's humans here, but there's danger. There's also humans, but there's danger. We need to send a scout drone here. Go over there and scout that little buddy. Meanwhile, we're just, you know, we're just hanging out over here, trying to make as much food as we can. Making as much food as we can here. Yep. There are 53 people that just never have babies. 300 population being the goal is... That's an intense goal. For the pacing in which I'm able to get people, that's... That does not seem very easy at all. Not even close. I kind of wish for these water storage buildings, they would give me some information when I click them. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless to click this. Like, make this not clickable if this is all the information you're going to show me, you know? What would be really cool is if you clicked on a building like this, like water storage, instead of showing you blankness and nothingness, it would come up and actually show you this. It would show you all of your resources. So if you click on a storage building, it would give you all, like, your material, water, and food storage display in this. Just the replacement. I mean, it's something, it's useful, and I don't have to go over here for it. It's, it's something, I don't know. 
Maybe it's uh, maybe it's maybe it's nitpicky, but you know, I like to give feedback too. You know, it's a fun game. It certainly is fun. Um, I I gotta figure out the the flow for it, right? But it's pretty fun. There's just so much disaster, so we're gonna have to go through a disaster to get anywhere. I think. But it says there's a special feature detected here. I think we're gonna risk it for biscuit. I think we're gonna go right here. We're going through uncharted territory. We're gonna just drop ourselves in that sector despite not knowing what's in that sector. Because what's life without a little risk, right? And uh, so far, it, it's just, it feels like I can't research anything either because they all need elements. So you were saying about ratios. This is a one to 20 ratio. So it means I need 20 common to make a rare. And this is a one to two ratio. So if I wanted to say make, I don't even know what I want to make. SI I think, right? I think, I think this one is better than this one. But it looks like it's probably harder to get because they need rare materials. Where this one it also needs rare materials. This one needs very rare materials, silver, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can get any of these things. I mean I, I like the I like where they're going with this, with the whole like needing elements thing, but I just don't think they're we're generating enough of them to have it matter. They don't they, it seems slow. They need to I mean, maybe that's just the difficulty intended intended difficulty, but I feel like, as in a completely first-time player perspective, which is not at all to say that I'm right, probably wrong, but uh, I feel like the pacing of getting materials right now is a little bit sluggish. That might just be because I haven't traveled enough. I mean, I did start here. I presumably have the whole planet to, to go with. Yeah, I can fly around the whole planet. We can go to the North Pole, even. I like how it just keeps rotating, though. Like, I can have the whole world upside down if I want to. Wait, how did... Yeah. I just get to... I can have it to be completely... I can disorient the hell out of you if I want to. These, what do you think, guys? You want to go to Mexico? Is that disorienting to you to realize that that's Mexico? <laughs> oh man, I'm just really like, how? What's the orientation? You know? Yeah. There's no click and drag. Oh, there is. Okay, never mind. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Right. You ready? We're gonna just let's see who can guess where this is. Okay. Ready? Set. Where is this? Where are we? Where is this? Who wants to take a guess at where that is? <laughs> you can flip the world as any orientation you want. <laughs> you just look at this and be like, um, I don't know, man. I don't know where we are. Somewhere in Russia, maybe? Could be. Eurasia, Europe. Europe is a very vague description. Russia, honestly, the size of Russia is basically just as vague as Europe, though. You think it's Sweden? Okay, let's see. So, presumably this, this is the United States. So, I think you're right on the Russia front. It's just upside down. So flip it over and come back up. Yeah. You're basically like this is this was Italy the whole time, but it was just upside down. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I gave you an easy one. I should have like centered on Pakistan. Really made you guys think. Because there's no like country lines, so it could just be this blob of land. You'd be like, I have no reference point to go on. Oh, let's see. 
I mean, I, I could keep expanding things, but without the people to work them, I, I think it's kind of pointless to do that. So, we're not going to do... I mean, like... Like, examine this, right? What do we build? So, we don't need a radar, because we only, only one can be built. We don't need a technology center, because it's just going to consume more power and not help us right now. Small parks don't seem to be effective at all in making the loyalty go up right now. Housing, we have more than enough anyway. Plus, we're not our population isn't growing. Food production only matters if you have people to work it. And since I'm at a priority seven and there's... They are still working. It says three out of four, but um, you need at least four for the building to work. So it won't work. See, that's, that's another thing. I, I wish I could fine tune this, right? Like if you need a minimum of four to work, I wish I could make one extra person work here, right? But that's not the way it will be. I have to put the priority up. If I put it to eight, then we'll start getting people working here. But now all eight slots will be filled with workers. It will go all the way up to eight instead of, you know, bringing it down and only having four work here. So I sort of like the... that thought there are rocks falling on me fiery rocks are falling um, yeah I gotta turn that around I can't I can't tell where I am uh, right there okay uh, so I don't remember that being in the brochure Going through this sector, it doesn't seem to be any meteors. Apparently, it's in my sector. The sector that I landed in, there are meteors here. We're gonna be we're gonna be sitting in a sector with meteors. Oh, good. Yes, escape pod. Beautiful. Join our colony and let's get out of here now. Uh, time to go. Time to leave. Unless there's really good resources. No, it doesn't seem like there is. Time to go. A class strength five meteor storm. Oh, good. This is great. Don't you think this is great? Let's go here. Class five meteor storm, everyone. Yeah, just the strongest meteor storm we've ever seen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just we'll make a we'll make a holiday out of it. You know, no big deal. Yeah. It just happened to be here. Time for us to go. Our buildings are getting destroyed. It's time for the repair function to go to work on everything. Literally everything. And now I'm second guessing this whole notion that we don't need another construction drone hub. I think we do. I argue that the construction drone hub is uh, basically required at this point. So why don't we go ahead and get that in here, shall we? Yeah, yeah, build, build a base for your buddies and uh, repair my stuff. That's what we're gonna do. We have 73 people now, though. That's pretty sweet. Loyalty didn't go up, but we're able to house all of them. So yeah, we're able to ha we're able to house everybody for now, at least until the strength two particle storm, combined with our strength five meteors, decide to destroy us. Just just curious, sci-fi people. Answer me this, sci-fi people. Um, pre presume, uh, assume an anti-gravity field, an anti-gravity device could exist, right? Let's 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 put that as a check a checkbox that's proven. It's it works, right? We have it. It's functional. What part of that technology gives you a force field? Just just wondering. Just throwing it out there. Part of that gives you a force field. Um, like go go sci-fi with it, like you know. Try to come up with a reason. I want to understand. 
it may not even be a force field because it seems like the the meteors are landing inside could just be graphical but it seems like they kind of are landing inside but if that was the case then this building should def the building that just got hit should totally not be 99 percent maybe it's 44 percent. maybe this is the one that just got hit yeah maybe i don't know Base meatballs from Mars. We would assume that it's actually from the moon, since the moon has been destroyed. But then again, there's not really like a way to determine passage of time in the game. I also don't know what the hotkeys are to speed up time. Uh, it seems so far, it seems like I have to just click the button. Are we still in a meteor storm? Really? I mean, it would, it would certainly appear that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is another meteor storm. Uh, another strength five. Okay, good. Yep. So another meteor storm is here. This is, this is, uh, this is basically Visa, right? Seriously, meteors, meteors are basically Visa. You know, I don't really... I'm going to scan. I don't really want to stumble into another one. I'm going to scan this time. We're not going to... We're not going to go someplace, you know, just because anymore. Deploy the drone that way. Resources are here, as well as no apparent threats. So we're going to go here now. Bye. <laughs> Maybe it's not so much a force field as much as laser defense area. We really should get lasers. Is that a thing in the tech tree? Lasers should be a thing in the tech tree. More power. Proximity boost. Higher durability. What kind of resources are required for that? Titanium. Another thing I wish I could do is pin this. So I could go and mouse over these different resources and see what they are. Uh, oh, wait a minute. This is... Oh, I didn't even notice this. There's multiple tabs, guys. I was like, this is the whole tech tree, I guess. You know, it's an early access thing. It's, 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 no. There's a security tab and an environment and climate tab and an engineering tab and an interdisciplinary technologies tab. Yeah, all that exists. The whole time, guys. Did you know? The whole time. Going down medicine, probably need it. Uh, and then there's air ionization, shield strength in level to two. Oh, okay. This allows us to put the shield to level two. Cool. Plant safety. Emphasize safety and first aid measures make power plants less prone to harmful accidents. Funny, I didn't even know they could have accidents. Well, <laughs> the more you know. At least we didn't learn that one the hard way. Uh, plant growth requires various chemicals. Uh, this one we almost have actually. Plant growth? We almost have enough for this. I simply need one hydrogen. So what I could do is use the CU to create one H. Wait. Yeah. Use the CU to create one H. It's a one to two ratio. Wait. I need to go like this. Yeah. Create one hydrogen. How do I do this? Oh, I take it away from the other side. Got it. Gotcha. Convert. Okay, cool. So now we have one hydrogen. So does that mean I can now go to here and hit the button and it'll work? Yes. Yes, it does. Cool. Last step then is to make sure people are working here. And indeed they are. Awesome. And now we just need to fly out of the meteors, basically. Just fly away from the meteors. Okay, if we could just... Maybe just semi-casually fly away from the meteors. That'd be great. If you could just do that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It needs a tutorial, but it's cool. Yeah, uh, the one thing the game is lacking right now is... Really any sense of a decent tutorial, to be honest. But that I can understand that, right? You, from a... Okay, so I say this as someone who is completely ignorant on game development, okay? I, I, I don't know the proper processes for things. But as somebody who just sort of 
spent the last two months conceptualizing, semi-designing, and trying to balance out a custom game, right? The community career for KSB. Without any development, just the conceptualize of the game and what, what's in place and how to do things. As someone in that regard, I would not want to explain how something works and then go change it, right? Because it didn't work as well as I thought it would. I would want to get the, the systems in place and kind of finalize them before I spend time explaining how they work. So I can sort of understand why indie developers don't have to proper tutorials in the beginning. I sort of get that. Um, it would make their game significantly more approachable from day one, but oftentimes game development isn't about day one. It's about day 50, day 100, three years from now, that kind of thing. Um, so I can, I can kind of understand that. Oh yeah, this exists. Desuka could thank you for the five months in the hat hut, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support, man. Yeah, YouTube needs to get their act together on how that works. Not only do they need to make it to where that is way more obvious that you can share, because I like to celebrate you guys when you when you are members or you renew or whatever. Like I love to I, that part of Twitch I miss. That's the part of Twitch I really miss. Is like I, I need I, I like that celebration aspect in it for sure. It's way better. They need to get that to where. Oh, the construction drone hub requires a worker. Well, that's interesting. What a development that is. Didn't know. Um, so they need to get that to where stream elements and stuff can see it so we can celebrate it when it happens. But the other thing YouTube needs to do is just stop hiding it in menus. One of the things that YouTube does really poorly is make their features easily accessible to the point where it's really easy to use them. They usually introduce things in a very weird way and then refine them over time. That's kind of Google's thing. It's just, it almost seems like half the time Google, when they create something, they just throw it together half-assed, put it in front of people, see if they like it, and then they spend time refining it. Um, and YouTube seems to be following that exact same thing. Uh, I'm going to put additional housing in here, I think, because we may get, we may get more people that want to uh, join our team. And uh, I want to make sure that we can welcome them with uh, relatively open arms. I'm also gonna place another uh, park down because I can. I have no idea where that is. Housing? Technology and safety. Okay. Getting a little bit outside the dome here, but that's okay. Just a little bit, No, no big deal. Um, materials right here, we could totally use some of that. So let's, let's get people going on that. 2,000 material here. At least we're not in the, uh, you know, the meteor shower anymore. The energy economy in this makes no real sense. Surely converting elements into other elements and generating an anti-gravity field to lift up a city should dwarf the energy requirement of a farm. Well, I mean, okay, so it kind of, I mean, okay, so I get what you're saying. The anti-gravity device right now is consuming 147 power, okay? 147 and a half power. Um, and a farm at its peak would consume 25. So I can totally understand where you're going at. My logic to that would be like, this is a farm that heats, that like feeds, you know, maybe 50 people perpetually. And it requires like a lot of like heat lamps and stuff. I don't know why it would need heat lamps. We're up to where it's basically fully, there's no day night cycle as far as I can tell. I think it'd be really cool to have a day night cycle. Um, day night cycle, I think would be, you, you, I mean, you'd have to, right? I mean, you, no, nobody is just in the day all the time. So the sun should still move. And you'd have extreme heat in the sun because you're there's almost no atmosphere now, right? And then you'd have extreme cold in the in the night because again there's almost no atmosphere, so you'd have to manage heating and cooling for people too within the dome. That would that should be a thing too. Early access, very early development, but day night cycle uh, would be great. And then you'd use more power at night too because you have to heat things, but also because you have lights and stuff on. Sebastian, thanks very much for the two months in the hat hut. Appreciate it. <laughs> Exclamation point credits. Yeah, I believe that's been disabled because uh, just the sheer volume of people that try to use it all the time. Uh, it was 
it was a bit absurd. So I can understand why it's been disabled. Uh, I think what we're going to do to change this up uh, on credits, I'm not going to change how they work because I, I have almost no, no control over it. Um, but I think what we'll do instead is that when you buy a contract with within the game, like when you uh, when you order something as a contract, right, uh, within KSP, I'm going to deduct them from your... I'm sorry. What in the world did you just display to me? Did it just display the resources I just gained? I think it just told me the stuff I just gained, maybe? Can I see the tech tree? Plant growth is done. Um, okay, so if I want poultry farming, chicken is unlocked. Chicken farming. Hey, food diversity <clears throat> increases loyalty. Cloud research. Second segment of the flight energy bar is now available. Flight energy bar? I didn't even notice there was one. Oh, this. Ah, there is a flight energy bar. Huh. Okay. Yeah, cool. No, no problem. We can unlock chicken now. You know? That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Some resources here. We should go here. Let's go here. Yeah, I'm unlock. Yeah. Did Charlie have her best end zone at the hardest difficulty? No. No. End zone's very hardest difficulty is... End zone itself is kind of hardcore, to be honest. By the way, we're gonna play that soon. Uh, we start we start that in about a half an hour, actually. Uh, and I'm trying an experimental feature on YouTube. If you just if you're just joining us, trying a it's not really experimental. It's it's experimental to me because I've never done it before. Um, but it's a feature that ultimately will it should anyway take all of you who are here at the end of the stream and just basically redirect you to the new stream uh, for Endzone as soon as it's done. So. Uh, I'll probably take like a two minute break, like a bathroom water replenishing break. But all of you who are here and stay here at the end of the stream should be redirected to that stream when it starts, uh, like like right away and then it will start. So um, so we'll, we'll be doing that. And that way we can play two different games, have it be basically the same stream streaming day, but uh, it'll be two separate VODs, which is uh, a very good thing. So I think we get poultry farming. Um, so in order to do that, I, it's a one to 20 ratio to go down to here. That's a really expensive conversion. So in order to get one of these, I need to give it 20 of these. That's like all of them. That's a very expensive. And then you need 20 of these to get one of these and then 20 of these to get one of these. You get what I'm saying? So platinum is incredibly hard to get, apparently. Who knew? Uh, and two separate pings on Discord. Yeah. Can't avoid that. Can't, you know, can't avoid it. It's the alerts roll, all right? People literally asked for it. Well, okay. So they didn't, they didn't necessarily ask for it. They were assigned it and chose not to remove it. There. See? I basically Comcasted that. Except, you know, I give people an alternative. Uh, I'm gonna bring that down to seven. We'll get less people working there. Hopefully more people will work over here now. It's like a worker balancing act here, you know? And then what's our maximum storage for materials? 10,000. I feel like I kinda wanna Uh, here. Get extra material storage. Increase the storage capacity for material. Yeah. Kind of want to probably put this like right here. And then we'll just kind of bring this road like that. Yeah. And then we have a little bit extra of extra juice here. So we'll just expand this to protect everybody, you know? For the good of the colony.
I think we'll go like that. And then, wait, does the road, does the road do this? It does not. Okay, so you need to go bye-bye. I do wish there was like a delete button here. Um, I wouldn't have to switch tools, but I understand. Uh, and then if I can come that way with it, with this road. I really kind of want to just... I know people are going to hate that road, but... Um... I mean, it kind of just screams me. Me, 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 me. This is me, me, me. This is what I'm like. This is what I do. <laughs> uh, let's get another aid center. Because um, I'm thinking we just simply don't have enough of them. For as many people as we have. I'm kind of, kind of like... Eh, maybe I'll put it on the side of the road anyway. How many people can you treat at a time? Number of beds, four. I mean, we're not using them, so maybe it, maybe it doesn't matter. If I turn you off, does that mean you won't be built? Let's test that out. Because then I could lay out my city and how I want it ahead of time, but then not have them use the resources. That's a big rock. That is... Um, yeah, that's a big rock. That's a, that's a mighty big rock you got there. Exactly how much material storage do we have now? We gained a thousand. Yeah, so... I mean, you know, there's... There's a bit of a room for advancement here, I think. There's, there's room for more here, I think. We're probably going to have more storage on that now. Look at all these drones coming back. Just They're just chilling. Bringing all these resources from their mining expeditions or something. Transporting things around, floating around. This is a very peculiar way of doing things. It's almost satisfactory in, in how it's made, you know? Like walkways with pipelines above it instead of being underground. Pipelines are along the roadway, which require, I mean, this prevents anything from making a U-turn. But then again, everything's flying anyway, so what do you need the road for? I just joined the stream. What game is being played? There you go, Zephyr. Yeah. We're playing uh, Sphere right now, and then we're going to check out the new Prosperity expansion for Endzone after this. Ooh, Particle Strength Storm is 2. How come these didn't get repaired? Pretty confident that I told you to repair those. I feel like I need to have my, sh my shield needs to be stronger. I need the shield strength to go up, right? So let's um, look at security... It's this one here, which I have enough for this, don't I? Yeah, let's research that, and then I need power badly. Because this thing just destroyed my power. My power plants are destroyed right now. That ion storm just wrecked me so hard. Please repair my buildings. Please repair my buildings. That ion storm just freaking destroyed me, dude. Why am I getting wrecked? Come on. Ten workers in the power plant on the double. It's a 12, it's 11 priority. There's a, there's actually a level 11. Come on now, repair this. This is the big priority. Not gonna happen, is it? Man, they are going in the order. So, the other recommendation I would say is that if there is, there is a cancel function, I can cancel existing commands, but I would say that these guys should be doing things, um, like, in the order of priority as well, you know? Because, so, if the priority of a building is 11, it should take precedence over a building that is 
uh, you know, like less than less than that. Even if it was selected to have something done to it afterwards. And that's gonna be a ten now too. All right, now we have power, thankfully. Whew! A guy way on the road, maybe. Yeah. Hope to add another flying cities, so resources are very competitive. Oh, you want like a? You want like you want like um, like a civilization kind of thing. Wouldn't it be odd though? All your opponents moving around the map. That'd be kind of interesting, actually. Because there's so much space here. You could totally make this into like an RTS. You want this to be an RTS. That's what... Yeah. Okay. I see where you're on on this. That's not bad. Make it multiplayer too. You know? I can see where you're going with this. I'm not sure the pacing supports that. They have to rebalance it to make the pacing faster. But yeah. Scan of the surroundings are complete. All right, we have resources in three separate sectors, so happy days. Thing is, though, we still have resources here. You know, so like, we don't really need to move. We still got 4,200 here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on, and then we're gonna build a bunch of stuff. I need to go into the tech tree, get people working here, please. Maybe I need more drone constructors or something. I don't know. Repairing buildings takes a long time. It's almost like... It's almost like when you repair a building, it takes longer to repair it than it did to build it. That's probably not true. It just seems that way. I'm also playing at one time speed quite a bit, but we have another incoming particle storm that I kind of don't want to hang out with. But I think as long as we keep our power up, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I would really like to get strength level 2 on the shield, though. That's what we're working on right now. 13 progress on that. If we can get... See, this is a particle storm strength 1. So, I would hope anyway that that means that our shield protects us against this one. Because it's the same strength level storm as our shield is. Right? So, I'm kind of hoping that that's the case. But I do also wish that if you left buildings out, like this right here, that they would take partial damage from the storms. If it was outside the shield, it should take partial damage. Depending on what's being repaired, it might not be that unrealistic. Are you sure repairing something takes just as long as building a fresh one? Well. Oh, sorry about that. Lack of oxygen to the brain. I guess if, if you, you're not wrong. Um, like especially if something is mass produced, it would definitely take longer to to repair it. But a building isn't really something that's mass produced, unless of course maybe it's. I mean, okay, so they're like drones that come in and beam it in from lasers. Okay, this isn't like a realistic analyzation of of what it takes to do things like this. I don't think. Um, we should probably turn this building on keep water on. I really need more people. Need more workers. Still gathering materials, though. And what's our max storage again? 13,000. Okay. 13 tons. What do you get? That comes up a lot. Like, it seems like 13 tons. You know? 16 tons would be cool, too. It just seems like I, I, I encounter the ability to bring that song into what I'm doing all the time. See, I just cannot keep enough workers in these buildings. I want, like, a banished system for this. Or, like, an end zone system for this. Instead of the priorities. Uh, I don't like the priorities. I would rather have uh, a, a thing that pops out that says... I want this number of people on power. And then they would, you know, divide themselves up if they want to. Uh, I would say, I want this many on food. I want these many on cooking, etc. Like, that system works way better than the priority system. Because, again, you're just going to get to this thing where 
as you play, the priorities just keep going up because you're not going to remember to take the priorities on everything down. And on top of that, even if you do remember it, it's just a lot of tedious button clicking, you know? Like now, it, it's at the point now where strength or priority nine is not enough to get people to work here. You know? I have to keep bringing the priorities down because nine is the new five. So now I want to bring everything to like three. And then can I, 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 I can't click multiple buildings either. So I have to do this one at a time. Oh yeah, I'll do it right before it pops. That's good. Go ahead. Thanks. Bring it down to like four and then bring it down to like four. And then bring this to like a four. And then you can be a uh, five, I guess. And then you are going to be a three. You already are. We'll take this power plant here. We'll be a four. And then we're going to start losing power here in a second because I'm going to be restructuring this stuff. Five, five, and five. Okay. So now we have priorities a little bit more down below, right? We're, we're setting them up way down, way down low. And then that way, hopefully, we can, uh, yeah, we just keep people working in places we actually need them. Kunteki, have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming out. Maybe you just overbuilt for your population. Well, of course I did. Population growth is, is very slow. Of course I built more. I mean, what's I supposed to do? I'm not going to build anything. I just won't build anything. That's, that's kind of like that's the process of feedback, right? Um, is to kind of be like, you know, hey, how, does these, how do these things balance? When you, when you play a game that you've developed, this may not be the case. Um, again, I have zero experience whatsoever in designing a game. So everything I say could be total BS. But I feel like when you play a game that you're designing, you tend to play it in a style that you anticipate players playing it in, right? And potentially you try to imagine what players might do, but in the end of the day, you'll never predict what players are gonna do. Um, like you're gonna find people doing things that you never imagined them doing. And so it becomes really important to get that diverse, wide, early access feedback, right? That's where that becomes really valuable in that early access element of things. Um, so as a part of that process, when I cover a game, I like to, I really am enjoying it. And I think it's, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, Click the link if you want to get to the Steam. It's uh, it's pinned, it's pinned to the live chat, and it's at the top of the description. Um, but I also like even though you're having fun with something, I think you can still provide valuable feedback that may help that game uh, to improve in your own perspective, right? Or in my own perspective, so I can help it improve in my perspective. Um, and so like these little tiny quality of life changes things, things like um, being able to keep. Although I am noticing now that during a disaster, while things are getting damaged, you can see their health in real time. And my God, is this thing damaging us? Like a lot. Go strength two, please. Okay, they're no longer being damaged in a strength two. That is how that works. So with a strength two shield, you are immune to strength two storms. Okay, good. Um, so now I need to repair all these things. But so I was saying earlier, right? Like how I wish I could just leave the health of the buildings up. But it does appear as though when you are in a storm and getting affected by the elements, it does present those to you. So that's fine. That's an automated thing. That's fine. But if that's going to be the case, I almost kind of wish that these, like these buttons almost seem pointless to me. Um, like make them clickable buttons so that I can keep them up and, and, and functional. So I can like, if I want to know where the workforce is, I would just have this. And then I can see, you know, okay. So those buildings are where people work, you know. These buildings are the ones that are shielded by the dome, which in the early game, this one's pointless, but in the later game, and maybe it's not the case, right? Um, and then there's this quick info panel, which is cool, but I almost wish that this quick info panel was replaced by an actual functional uh, labor system, like, you know, Endzone has and how Banished has, where instead of this little box, taking up as a legend that actually takes up quite a bit of space. We could just have this pop out with a little button, but have this space occupied by a, I want 20 people to work in power, 
five people to work in food, four people to cook food. Let's get three people on research purposes, right? And like, let them move around based on what you need and what you've designated. Um, I, I feel like that system is a lot better than the priority system. What's up, PJ? If you have the right population, you wouldn't need too much priority. Right, yeah, I mean, I need, I need more people. I, I agree with you, I do need more people. I just find that it's hard to get people because I have how many parks? Maybe I just need more parks. Like a lot more. Look at all these buildings. They're so damaged. Oh, here. Fix them. Fix them, drones, please. I wonder, does fixing things take resources? It's hard to tell. Um, maybe if I... It's hard to tell because I'm constantly using the materials. So I don't know if I can attribute it... So I guess what I could do is just watch it over time. And if I go and highlight all these buildings to repair and it just starts being drained excessively fast, then maybe I would be able to tell, but. First officer, nice. Uh, okay, yes they do, cool. How do I tell that, David? How can I tell if they take resources or if they take resources or not? Because I, I don't know how to properly gauge that since I'm constantly, maybe it's in that, maybe it's in the manual. Actually, what else about loyalty? It's a pretty long description for that little bit there. Uh, it's based on health, residency, food supply, and food diversity. Sum of all individual loyalty levels defines the overall level loyalty level of the colony and is therefore an indicator of people's well-being. Well loyalty... Okay, so this is an overall indicator of all well-being. Okay. Um... Loyalty level can be increased through... Instruction centers, parks, and community kitchens. Instruction centers zone of influence increases the loyalty level of colonists within it. If an individual loyalty level is lower than 20, colonists strike. Oh, okay. Uh, the colonists die of starvation. The overall loyalty decreases. If the colony, if the overall loyalty is higher than 50. Reproduction takes place. Got it. They actually reproduce if you get it over 50. Thank you. Okay. Which, I mean, it does say this. It does say over 50 to increase population. So, I mean, on the mouse over, it was it did tell me that. I just sort of missed it. Um, and then remembered it once I was told again. So, par for the course, pretty much. But it does seem like the parks are kind of ineffective. I could place this one here. And then if I put the houses and surround this park. That's probably the best way to do it. Yep, we got the metagame way of doing it now. We know we know how to do this now, guys. Metagaming confirmed. You just you you make you make nine by nine squares for your houses. Just make a nine by nine square and put the park in the middle. That's it. It's a workers and resources build system. Just put, all, put everything they need for happiness in the middle of the houses. So do it like this. You know? Done. Uh, so I want to move that. I can probably get away with this too, though. Uh, I, can, I could get away with this too. If I go like this, and then I build the houses um, like this, like this, 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 this. It's not the best, but this is the best. With with minus the squiggle, right? There you go. Someone told you that like hours ago. Imagine, yeah. Imagine how much better it is that I've discovered it on my own. Imagine how. Imagine just how much better that feels, you know, Swinger Bob, to have discovered it on my own instead of being told. I think I'm. I think I'm good. Thanks. Uh, let's go this way. Depends how strong the laser is. 
Imagine that people of the future are very advanced and that they use easily replaceable parts using 3D laser printing. Maybe that's what that is. You know, all these lasers, are they just like distance laser printers? Distance 3D printers. And it's not any more ridiculous than, say, No Man's Sky. Where you just kind of... You just shoot everything you want to do, you just shoot it. You know? You want to harvest something? Shoot it. You want to kill something? Shoot it. You can shoot it from a distance. It'll The resources will fly into your inventory. Want to build something? Flip a mode on your thing. Shoot it. <laughs> you know? So it's, it's, not, it's not like it's a big deal. It's a game. Games are... It's acceptable in a game to do this this way. I just wish I could somehow, like... Like, say, hey, guys, let's repair everything. Everything is now marked for repair. Go. So with 56 power, we have a 3 radius, 2 shield, or 2 strength shield. And then with this, accidents and mistakes at production sites are reduced by 25%. I didn't even know those were taking place. Plant safety. I need 4 S. Let's try environment and climate. Chemical analysis and improved real-time monitoring increase hydro tree output by 3%. Is there anything that makes my chemical conversion a little bit more efficient? Alloying. Surface coating for extreme environments, 5% higher resistance for plantations, chicken farms, and aquacultures. The honeycomb technique. Matrix for increased thermal protection, 10% higher resistance to, for plantations. Okay. Repair support, faster construction, advanced transportation, accelerated healing, more comfort. Ah, the second re residential building is unlocked. I like this. So I need one FE. Okay, I can actually do this one. So another quality of life thing would be to be able to pin this or to be able to go from here and... and like be able to inter interface with this right in this window, right? Because right now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, I need one FE. What's the process of getting that? All right. Well, I have to go over here. I need one FE minus two. Go. Awesome. Cool. And then I can click this. It's not that inconvenient. Um, I did actually legitimately when I started this recommendation or when I started this feedback, I legitimately forgot that I could click this button and that this was a pop-up. I thought it was a separate window. This is a pop-up. That totally changes things. So just disregard what I was about to say. I had forgotten that this was a pop-up. I thought it was more like this, like a separate window where it takes you out of it, but no, it's not. Cool. Apparently there's like uh, three, four, like there's like six different strength levels for this thing. It seems like anyway. Look at the difference. Whoa. That's a huge jump in power consumption. Going to strength three, it will consume an additional 220 power. That's nuts. Not sure I'd want to do that. We're still in flight here. Let's speed up time. I keep forgetting that time, like time acceleration. Uh, those two. I wonder if there is. Oh, there's no. There's no controls while you're in game. That's the last thing I'd say. That options menu. That options menu in the main menu needs to be right here. Like you should be able to modify that stuff. Maybe not resolution. I can understand that, but. Things like key bindings and stuff, that should be on the fly optimization. On the, on the fly changes. And also references, because right now if I wanted to know what the hotkey was for something, I just flat out can't find out. There's there's just flat out no information about it whatsoever. So I don't know what the hotkey is for various things. If I hit B, nothing happens for building. Uh, C for construction, R for roads. It don't seem to have any, any hotkeys actually. Well, apparently one of these buttons takes away the UI. Be really nice to know which one that was. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, 
Um, which one took away my UI? We're just gonna have to click buttons until we find until we find it. Ah! Which? Okay, the U key. That's the U key. That takes away your UI. Okay. All right. All right. Good. I'm just I'm clicking buttons. I just want to see. Plus and minus doesn't speed up time. Uh, number bu number keys don't seem to do anything. Arrows move. That's good. What about home and end? Nothing. Okay. So really, the only hot key I can tell besides the standard W A S D Q E is uh, is U removing the UI, which I assume is great for like photos. I love it. Seriously, I love the ability to be in game and to pause and to have no UI. As a content creator, this is awesome because it makes thumbnails so much easier. So much easier. Oh man, and being able to get right down close too, that's awesome as well. Most games don't do this. Most games do not allow you to get in here and the camera doesn't adhere to physics, which is also a good thing for thumbnails. Because there's nothing worse than being like, oh, I just want to be a little bit closer. And then your camera's just like, yoink, because you're over top a mountain or something. Looking at you, surviving Mars. Looking at you. <laughs> Seriously. 50 likes goal, Pog. Oh, I don't know. People never like my videos. They don't remember. It's fine. Hey, we're almost out of water. Anyone else notice that? Like... Water and food? Because, you know, it's all about that prioritization, right? There's a whole bunch of water here. Let's turn it on. Let's get it going. Now we're now we're sucking down the power again. Oh, of course we are. You know what? All the power plants are going to 11. How's that sound? All the power plants. You're just constantly the main, the main priority, okay? Everyone always works in the power plant before ever, everywhere else. Okay, cool. Awesome. Good. Glad we had that talk. Uh, that's good. I clipped the UI thing. Yeah, nice. What, the UI thing for the thumbnail? Oh, I'll probably just leave the thumbnail with what I had in the beginning. Thanks, though. Auto repair tech option would be useful as well. Yeah, if nothing else, if, if, if they're worried about making the game too easy, if nothing else, make it like a research thing. Also, there's a phase two here. And I'm noticing that I'm allowed to go way out here. So there's a plan for this. I assume there's a plan to have even more stuff. But the, the thing is, you're really restricted on space. Or are you? I mean, I've been playing for two hours. I've only used this much space. So maybe it's not that restrictive after all. It would be nice to find people, though, wouldn't it? Maybe we should uh, send a drone out. Actually, why don't we search our surroundings? Maybe there's people over here in the Arctic. Can we add some of the Inuit population to our humble establishment? Human activity detected. There's actually two more features here that say they're special features. We could have a drone go out that way. Go out and scout that. Maybe we'll go this way, grab these guys, and then grab all the people, you know? If I was going to keep playing longer, that's what we would do. But we are pretty much ready to wrap up the stream uh, for this. Keep in mind, this is a split stream, so we are not done streaming today. So once I end this broadcast, this video becomes self-contained for later, which is great. But we're going to pick up right... We're picking up again with the new prosperity update for Endzone, we're gonna take a look at end game content because the prosperity update is mostly end game content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load the save that I had for season two for Endzone. So this is a completed stable colony and we're gonna take a look at some of the new features that are in the prosperity update for Endzone. And that's gonna happen right after this stream is over with. Um, if you're watching live, you should be, I think, right when this ends, carried off and redirected to that other stream. So. You shouldn't have to do anything. I don't know that. If for some reason that doesn't work for you and your platform, just check out the channel page because the stream is already made as a stream there. 
Uh, and again, this is uh, all sponsored by Assemble Entertainment. So uh, big hats to them, big thanks to them for uh, for sponsoring and, and uh, supporting my channel and my efforts here. I hope I hope they enjoyed the coverage. I, I hope they do really well. If you haven't, if you want to check out the game yourself. Uh, if you're watching live, again, the link is pinned in the chat. Otherwise, it's the top link in the description for everyone else. It's right down there. At least check it out. See what see what you think about it. Uh, I don't know what the price is. I want to say it's like $18 or something like that. Um, it's, it's still in early development, and it's still going to start running around, right? Uh, there's more stuff to come. So, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up right here. Um, but I, ha I had an, I enjoyed my time with this. I think this is pretty cool, and I hope you did too. So... Thanks once more for watching, and I will see you very quickly for the end zone stream happening uh, pretty much right now. Like, give me five minutes or so, and it'll start. Thanks. Bye bye.